Often when there is a huge earthquake, it causes great devastation. Things are blown apart, shattered, foundations are shaken, and nothing is stable anymore. Often this is not the end of it. After the initial huge earthquake comes aftershocks, which can be almost as devastating as the first one. To some extent, we are not prepared for the initial shake, but it should alert us to prepare quickly for aftershocks. The virus has hit our world with a shaking, but the aftershocks have continued to shake us and will indeed continue. We have been shaken and it is not going to stop soon. We cannot stay in a holding pattern and hope that things are over soon so that we can get back to what used to be. We have to arise in the midst of the devastation and deliberately take decisive steps forward. We cannot wait for the atmosphere to change. We have to cause it to shift as we speak faith into the atmosphere and as we take steps of faith. We have to position ourselves, take up our faith stance for the next few months and be ready to fight the fight of faith. We have a mandate and that is to make disciples. It's wonderful to receive Jesus as Saviour, but this is not where it ends. We receive our ticket on Rapture Airlines to heaven, but we are called to so much more than that. We don't get saved to just sit in church in a pew. It's not the end of the journey, but it's only the beginning. It is the beginning of a life of impact. You can impact your world, finding out our strengths and gifts and using them to fulfill our purpose. God has an individual plan for all of us to have some sort of impact. So through this shaking, between the aftershocks, we need to seek God as his disciples and find out what he wants us to do. What does he want us to do in this season so that we will be ready for whatever comes in the next season? We do not want to be caught off guard or caught sleeping in this crucial time. We are not at the end of this process. We need to shake off the dust from the last season, the last season is not returning. God is always doing a new thing. Let's not miss it. Let's be ready. Let's be ready for the new thing that God is doing. The aftershocks are continuing. The shaking and the shifting is still happening. We need to stay in close partnership with God. Stay in close partnership with God at this time and cooperate with what he is doing in our life, in the church and in our nation. Decide to be a disciple. Engage in this season. Prepare for the aftershocks. Let's continue to change on the inside and then change the world around us. This is Rosanna Palmer.